Welcome to EJ Bits. This video will be about an ultrasonic humidifier you can purchase on Lazada and the benefits of using it. Uh, this video will be backed up by scientific research and data just so we know what are the benefits of using a humidifier in our rooms. So uh, before using, please make sure to soak the cotton swab one to two minutes and uh, to use tap water. So five liters yung kanyang capacity and uh, it uses a USB Type-C connector. So these are the contents of the box. It comes with an aroma scent, a USB Type-C cable, and the machine itself. So it has three nozzles and uh, we will go through the modes later. And of course it has rubber feet and the power button and the USB Type-C port for charging. And uh, this is your top part of the machine. It's, uh, it comes in two parts. And uh, this one, you have a plastic tube with a spring. So uh, of course you can remove it and you can clean it. But again, since it's the first time I'm using this product, you have to soak these cotton swabs in water for one to two minutes, which I did so that it already has water installed. And uh, there you go, it has spring nice material and uh, it's all made of plastic and uh, there you go so just make sure it's plugged in and uh, one press there will only be one of the nozzles working another press two press uh, two nozzles and then three if you press it another time three seconds stop and then three seconds again and then uh, there you go and if you long press it there will be an RGB light so just long press it to turn on the RGB lights and long press to stop the RGB lights. In this graph, you will see on the left side the concentration of viruses. On the bottom line, you can see the humidity level in percent. The black line now shows you the amount of viable viruses in percent. So if you follow the line, you will notice that the lowest number of viruses of the two days time is at 50% humidity level. This indicates that it's healthy to set the humidity level between 40 and 60% in order to have minimal exposure. So let me just show you the study where this came from. So this is from American Society for Microbiology, links in the description. Effects of air temperature and relative humidity on coronavirus survival. So the graph you saw a while ago was 20 degrees Celsius and uh, it's stated here that there was greater survival or a greater protective effect at low relative humidity, 20%, and high relative humidity than the moderate 50%. So this means that, you know, in between 40 to 60%, or better yet, 50%, there is less survival of the virus. And uh, this study was done in 2010 for the SARS-CoV virus. Uh, we are currently experiencing SARS-CoV-2 virus. It's still part of the coronavirus family. So if this study were replicated today, it will yield very similar results since they are part of the same family of viruses. So again, this is uh, backed up by scientific research. You can check this uh, document out in the links in the description. On the graph a while ago, 50% or 40 to 60% is the best humidity for our room. So we can buy this hygrometer from Shopee, a uh, very cheap price. Links also in the description just so that we stay to the 40 to 60% humidity for our rooms. If we go beyond that, if we go 80% and above, that's uh, not so good. And if we go too low, 20% and below, that's also not so good. So uh, this is the screenshot of the product you can buy in the description down below. So again, RGB lights. But you know, this is only not for rooms and uh, to aid your sleep and uh, to ensure that you don't have a sore throat when you wake up. It's also useful for plants. So you can use this humidifier for plants. There are plants, specific plants, which uh, like humidity. So for indoor plants, you may also use this uh, product and uh, I really do recommend I use it while I sleep and uh, I use the intermittent uh, three second stop three second go setting 
So, I hope you learned something in this video. Uh, I hope you like it, subscribe the channel, and uh, comment down below if you have any more questions. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.